Maniša Berger je nomad. Ona voli da putuje. I voli da putuje peške, a voli i životinje. Sve neophodno za njen put nose dva konja. A tu je i pas koji nosi svoj prtljak. Ovaj put započela je u septembru 2020. Krenula je iz Švajcarske, iz malog mesta, iz okoline Lozane. I požurila je da krene pre nego što će pasti prvi snegovi. Ali već je zakasnila. It was really the most difficult thing for that beginning because there was so much snow and yeah. I wasn't sure I can cross and we crossed it but we were so tired like blah. I cross uh, Italian pro part of Switzerland and Italy. All Italy it was autumn. Uh, then uh, Slovenia, beginning of the winter. It was just, uh, yeah, just winter, beginning of uh, January, with a lot of snow, so, so nice. and then Croatia on the heart of winter, really. A coup de pique. Then Bosnia. It was such little bit springtime, but not yet. Then Montenegro, uh, Albania with the springtime, really, it was really coming. It was so, so beautiful. And I wanted to, cr to go to Macedonia, but at the border they stopped me because of the horses. So I have to change my route, and so I, st I still in Albania and then Kosovo. And now I'm crossing all Serbia from uh, south to north to go to Hungary. And then all the Alps, I want to go really on the mountains. I will see if it's possible to go to Switzerland. Ukupno će preći oko 5000 km. Sada je u povratku kući. Računa da mora da pešači svaki dan kako bi stigla pre još jedne zime. Maniša ima 27 godina. Pre ovog puta bila je zaposlena na jednoj farmi. Prethodno imala je čak ideju da se pridruži cirkusnoj grupi. A oduvak je putovala na svoj način. Peške, biciklom ili konjima. Ovo sada joj je najduže i najzahtevnije putovanje. Sredino maja mi smo estrali na putu od Užica ka Valjevu, preko planine Povlena. I wake up about seven more or less, but it's not so important. I have a lot to do in the morning. I never stop because uh, just the time to to take out the tent, to take out the yard, the fence for the horse to look if everything is okay with the horses, to clean them, and then to pack everything. And I need to uh, check the weight 
from each bag because if it's not uh, the same weight, it just turn off. So I have to, yeah, to weight everything. And I always pack in the same place. It's really easier for me because I know exactly where are the, the stuff. And then, um, and then I put everything on the horse, really with a method. So it took me more or less uh, two hours in the morning and I eat fast also and then uh, we just walk all the all the morning uh, but I'm really not early so I can just stop to look something to drink to <laughs> to take care of the horse if there is something wrong and sometimes to play with my dog and I'm not hurry, I just try to, to enjoy. I always do a break on middle day because a horse is done to eat every two, three, four, maximum four hours. So I need to stop minimum one hour uh, like that I can really eat. So I stop always where is grass. Sometimes it's really not beautiful, but it doesn't matter if there is grass. When I stop for the break, I take off the bags, big bags because it's heavy the bags also from my dog uh, it's really more comfortable for the horses and i open also the things they have in the chest because if not it's difficult to eat so i always have the same ritual <laughs> okay. normally i eat what i cook the day before uh, because I don't want to always eat bread, it's not good for one one year. So, I yeah, and vegetable fruits and yeah. And uh, after one hour or one and half hour, I put on one more time the bags and I go away. And we we walk all afternoon, and it depends a lot in which re region we are. Uh, sometimes I really have to go in one point I saw in the map because we are in forest or in mountains and we need to go down or something. The priority is always to find grass for the horses. Dnevno Maniša prepešači u proseku oko 20 km. Ne želi da optereti konje, a ni sebe. Ona bira samo sporedne puteve, a u gradove samo ako mora. 